Okay, we're standing behind a FMB machine. This particular uh, brand is a union machine. And we're, we're talking about the dry control sensor. The dry control sensor um, on a dry cleaning machine is made for the program step of dry control. And, and on a union machine, for instance, it's button number nine on the computer control. Button number nine uh, puts the power in this little unit here. What you see is, is the dry control sensor. As the solvent flows back from the drying recovery head and goes on to the separators, it's flowing along this pipe. What the dry control sensor does is, although the computer program may be set for 20, 25, 30 minutes, however long it's set in the program, the dry control sensor is made to ensure that energy usage is optimized by if it's a smaller load or if uh, the, the garments in the load are drying quicker. If for, uh, all, all it does is sense the amount of flow of solvent coming along based on heat. Once it reaches a, a certain temperature, um, it says we're dry enough, there's very little solvent coming along, and it jumps ahead to the next step, which is usually a post dry for two or three minutes, and then on to the cool down stage. So um, the settings that you see on a dry control sensor, uh, usually there's a large uh, notch, which is, is setting of zero, which would be when the dry control center or the dry control sensor is directly under the uh, the pipe at a, at a perpendicular position therefore very finite amount of solvent is is flowing along keeping that sensor cool and therefore not having a jump ahead the factory will will pre-test and will set the settings most of the time of the machines that, that we see coming over the setting is set usually somewhere between the one and the two notch setting so it's a little bit off center and therefore there's a, there's a little bit of, of play as far as it's, it's less sensitive now to um, um, the solvent cooling the probe and therefore may jump ahead quicker um, I'm not sure how finite these set, these uh, these units are but they seem to perform fairly well so they're adjustable uh, again the settings established by the factory are important but if you find that uh, it's taking you're, you're going through your dry control step every time it's going 25 minutes to the preset or 30 minutes whatever the preset is odds are this probably isn't doing its job um, that's where an adjustment may be necessary either having your your local distributor or technician come in to do an adjustment or you can do the adjustment on your own in order to gauge uh, you know why it's it's going straight through the whole dry control step on the other hand, if it's set too leniently, you'll end up having garments that may not be completely dry or you may not be getting as much solvent out of the garments as you'd like, and therefore it might be uh, a little more uh, less, less uh, cost prohibitive if you're, you're using more solvent than, than you feel you should be. So a couple, uh, couple of questions surrounding what the dry control sensor is. A pretty easy answer. Um, thank you.